so today we are going to solve a problem on gears so the two involute gears are given whose pressure angle is 20 so phi is given as 20 degree the gear ratio that is the total number of teeth on the gear to the total number of teeth on the pinion the ratio is given as 3 g is 3 the number of teeth on pinion are given as 24 the smaller one then the module is given at 6 mm so the value of small m is 6 mm now the pitch line velocity is given though pitch line velocity is 1.5 so v capital v is equals to 1.5 meter per second now the addendum is given as the one times module that is the addendum coefficient into module value is 1 into m the addendum coefficient is 1 so 1 into 6 that is 6 mm is the total addendum now we'll first of all find out the total number of teeth on gears that is capital t so for that we'll make use of gear ratio so gear ratio is given as 3 so 3 is equals to capital t by small t that is 24 small t hence the capital t value comes out to be 72 now we will try to find out the pitch circle radius of the pinion so small r is equals to m into small t upon 2 so m is module small t is number of teeth on pinion so 6 into 24 divided by 2 so the value comes out to be 72 mm similarly capital r that is pitch circle radius of the gear it is m into capital t divided by 2 so 6 into 72 by 2 so it is 216 mm so the addendum circle radius for pinion r suffix capital a will be equals to the pitch circle radius of the pinion plus addendum so 72 plus 6 that is 78 mm is the addendum circle radius for pinion similarly r a capital r a that is the addendum circle radius for gear is capital r plus small a that is addendum so 216 plus 6 that is 222 now we will find out the path of contact for that we will first of all find out the path of approach so path of approach will indicate it by cp so cp the formula for cp is under root of capital r suffix a square that is the addendum circle radius square minus r square capital r square cos square phi minus r sin phi that minus r sin phi term is outside the root remember that so capital r a value is 222 so 222 square minus capital r is 216 so 216 square into cos 20 cos square 20 minus r that is p circle radius of the gear is 216 so 216 sin phi that is sin 20 so we will try to calculate that remember the r sin phi term is outside the root the capital r sin phi term is outside the root so the value of cp will be 16.04 mm now we'll try to find out the path of recess the path of recess will indicate it by pd so the formula for pd is under root of small r suffix a square minus small r square cos square phi minus small r sin phi again the small r sin phi term is outside the root so we'll put the values ra is 78 so 78 square small r is 72 72 square cos square 20 minus small r is 72 sin 20 so quickly we'll find out the value of PD so PD is 14.19 mm so the total path of contact path of contact is the path of approach value plus the path of recess value so CD is equals to CP plus PD Hence, the total value of path of contact is 
16.04 plus 14.19 <coughs> that is 30.23 mm is the path of contact now we need to find out the arc of contact so the arc of contact is the path of contact divided by cos phi so the path of contact we have found out that is 30.23 divided by cos 20 hence the arc of contact comes out to be 32.17 mm is the arc of contact value so now the next parameter we need to find out is the angle of action so for angle of action the formula is the arc of contact divided by the radius so first of all we will find out the angle of action for pinion so for pinion the angle of action formula will be the value of arc of contact divided by the pitch circle radius of the pinion that is small r hence 32.17 divided by 72 so 72 mm is the pitch circle radius of the pinion so the value comes out to be 0.4468 radian so we will convert it into degrees so the conversion is 25.60 degree for the angle of action for the pinion now we want to calculate the maximum velocity of sliding so for maximum velocity of sliding first of all we will see the formula for the velocity of sliding so velocity of sliding is given by the product of the addition of the angular velocities of pinion and gear into the distance between the point of contact and the pitch point so here omega 1 is the angular velocity of pinion omega 2 is the angular velocity of gear hence we'll write it as omega p plus omega g into now the distance the distance we want maximum distance as the velocity we want to find out is maximum velocity of sliding so maximum distance is cp hence for the further calculations omega p will be given by capital v upon small r and omega g will be given by capital v upon capital r so the values are in meter per second we will convert it into mm per second as we have small r and capital r in mm hence the total maximum velocity of sliding will calculate that so it comes out to be 445 mm per second 